किसान साथियों नमस्कार मैं हूं इमरान आपके साथ और आप देख रहे हैं फसल क्रांति आज हम मौजूद हैं एग्री एशिया पे जहां पे बहुत सारी कंपनियां पार्टिसिपेट कर रही हैं और आज जिस कंपनी में हम बैठे हुए हैं उसका नाम है पिनेकल बायोसाइंस जिसके फाउंडर थे डॉक्टर आदि तो आज हम बात करेंगे जैविक उत्पादों के बारे में सर आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है फसल क्रांति में सो so, सबसे पहले मैं जानना चाहूँगा आपके बारे में और आपकी जो कंपनी है उसके बारे में कि कैसे आपकी कंपनी काम कर रही है हमारा एक माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी बेस कंपनी है हम समुद्र का वो आयल के लिए का काम करते हैं हम ये पाँच साल का कंपनी है हम वो पूरा एक रिसर्च बेस्ड कंपनी है हम फार्मर्स वो आर फार्मिंग में एक बहुत प्रॉब्लम देखा के क्या है वो मिनरल डिफिशिएंसी है हाउ दिस मिनरल डिफिशिएंसी एस कंपनीज लाइक बिकॉज ऑफ कंटिन्यूस केमिकल फार्मिंग यूज ऑफ ओवर डोसेज ऑफ केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर और केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर के कारण क्या हो गया हमारा साइल में होता वो पूरा मिनरल्स इनर फॉर्म में हो गया इसलिए क्या होगा वो प्लांट्स को वो मिनरल्स नहीं मिलेगा इसलिए बाहर से मिनरल देना पड़ेगा वो आर्गेनिक आर्गेनिक सोर्स देखा तो वो समुद्र का आलगे वो भी सिर्फ ए, एक ही सॉल्यूशन है वो आलगे है रिच आलगे है मिनरल्स है तो सो वो मिनरल डिफिशेंसी के लिए द ओनली शो नेचुरल सोल्यूशन इज द मेरेन एलगे सो वी पिनाकल बायोसेक्सेस आर एक्सप्लोइिंग मेरेन एलगे फॉर मिनरल सप्लीमेंट सो वेन मिनरल इज गिवन एक्सटर्नली टू द प्लांट्स द रिजल्ट लाइक सी एक्चुअली मिनरल्स आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एवरी एक्टिविटी ऑफ द प्लांट्स लाइक फॉर प्लांट ग्रोथ फॉर फ्लवरिंग फॉर फ्लवर टू कन्वर्ट इन टू फ्रूट्स फ्रूट साइज टेस्ट ऑफ द फ्रूट एवरी थिंग इज डिपेंड अपॉन द मिनरल प्रोसेस ऑफ साइल so when we are supplying this uh, mineral extra uh, like folia or are in drip irrigation we are getting very good uh, results so our we started pinnacle started with this uh, mineral algae mineral product and based on the uh, results of the product the uh, farmers have uh, asked us to make some uh, good products for organic farm so based on the farmers requirement now we are developed four to five products from basal application till pesticide completely organic for complete 100% organic farm and uh, we are yeah and it is been used by more than 7000 to 8000 farmers all over india and we are also exporting to australia kuwait and indonesia dr adi as you mentioned in your words that uh, we are using uh, like there is a deficiency in soil also and as we know we are using the uh, uh, agrochemical out of the limits uh, so what do you think what is the future of uh, this organic products uh, uh, in terms of uh, replacement of uh, agrochemical so yeah, it's really a good question actually uh, see in india we have introduced this uh, chemical fertilizers only after 1980s uh, during our green revolution so in green revolution what has come we have bought into chemical fertilizers and hybrid seeds so actually till 1980s india was uh, we were doing only organic farm so we were not having any chemicals so what happens uh, immediately when uh, we were adding the chemical fertilizer we were getting uh, very good results like jumbo results it is because organic plus inorganic had given very good uh, uh, what is the result so uh, for example in a year if a farmer is uh, what is the using like it is an example if a farmer is using 1 kg of uh, uh, urea he was able to get some 10 kg of paddy for example but now what is happening is uh, in the same uh, la- area farmer is using 10 kg of urea but he is not able to get even 5 kg of paddy it is because till it is our soil was rich in organic carbon so when you add a, when you add uh, when you bought into uh, chemical fertilizer the results was good then what happened because of ignorance farmers thought that the result was only because of chemical fertilizer so what happens they started using chemical fertilizer and they stopped organic carbon they start organic fertilizer so what happens till our soil was having organic carbon which we were using uh, thousands of years till organic carbon was there chemical fertilizer gave good results so what is this organic carbon in the soil that 
depleted. Even uh, see, instead of giving one kg of urea, if uh, farmer is uh, giving even 10 kg of urea, there is no result. So what farmer thought was, see, as he was not getting the result, he thought uh, instead of one kg, he was increasing the quantity of chemical fertilizer. So what happened? Over uh, dosage of chemical fertilizer, uh, what happened? Our soil pH has changed. And uh, over uh, fertilizer, uh, soil pH changed and uh, adversely what has happened, as we have stopped organic uh, fertilizers, the soil microorganisms are also uh, completely vanished. So what happens? Now there is no microorganisms in the soil as well as over dosage of fertilizers. So now we are in a stage that without organic farming, even chemical farming is not going to happen. That is why now chemical, that is why now central government is uh, like forcing the farmers to go for organic farming. Now we are in a stage uh, that without organic farming, even chemical farming is not going to happen. So that is a place now we are. So now definitely we are going to have organic farming. Okay. Dr. Adi, uh, please tell me products which you are manufacturing, all are the uh, seaweed based or uh, like what kind of products you have uh, in, in terms of formulation? Okay. Uh, so, see, actually we are glad to tell that we are the only Indian company who is manufacturing multi-diverse products from algae. We have uh, algae products for uh, agriculture, for aquaculture, for animal, for meat production and even for humans uh, we are making products and uh, and uh, for agriculture we have uh, from basal application we call a product called biomix it has to be given to the soil before planting and we have uh, seaweed based mineral tonic and we have uh, amino acid uh, from marine animal based amino acids uh, we have and we are the only company manufacturing organic cubic acid we are manufacturing cubic acid from compost generally cubic acid is uh, manufactured from lignite or coal we are the only company manufacturing cubic acid from compost, biocompost. And we have essential oil based pesticides. And now, uh, Pinnacle Biosciences, we have started a new company called Acrobiotum. And we are the first Indian company to manufacture seaweed powder, cubic acid powder in India. Till today, it has been 100% important. And we are the first company to manufacture these water soluble powders. Could you mention uh, the name of some of the products, uh, like which are the most selling products of yeah. your company? See, this is Powermax, this is uh, algae, marine uh, seaweed based product. Okay. And this is the uh, like, uh, king product, key product. So this is completely natural minerals, as we are told to, uh, what is it, rectify the mineral deficiency. It's an absolute product which we have. And uh, second thing is, you know, uh, this is a pesticide which uh, we are using, organic, completely organic pesticide. It has given very good results for all kind of uh, pests. So farmer can use this product uh, in vegetables uh, and yes, also? Yes, any crop, any crop, any crop, all crops. Okay, so, uh, PGR also available, uh, plant growth promoters? If you uh, know. Generally, you know, uh, uh, see these all are, we call it, it comes under uh, biostimulant. These are all uh, plant growth promoters. Uh, I mean, if we compare pricing between these products and the agrochemical products, so these are costly as compared to agrochemical, so that is costly. Yeah, when you compare to that of chemical fertilizer, yeah. uh, see these, inputs are little higher but if you are seeing the result yield you can we can guarantee we can double the yield when you come to the chemical fertilizers there is a myth uh, 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 among the farmers like they always thought if i am using uh, organic products and the bio products so production uh, in the first uh, uh, attempt production will decrease and the cost input cost will be high so, what do you think on this? See, actually, this is uh, the, uh, actually most of the farmers, organic farmers, those who wanted to come into uh, organic farming, they have this problem. It is because we lack scientific organic farming. See, actually, uh, uh, most of our farmers, they do not know the science behind organic farming. Actually, if you are uh, properly following scientific organic farming, in your first crop itself, you can have 100% successful organic farming. Uh, the basic thing which I will be telling is, most of the farmers fail in their basal application. Actually, what uh, a farmer has to do is, most of the farmers, you know, uh, they think if it is organic farming, farmyard manure. They think farmyard manure is the base for organic farming. Actually, farmyard, uh, what is the dung should not be used as farmyard, uh, as a basal application. It has to be compost. See, uh, compost, composting uh, this farmyard manure also, there is a art. 
like in older days you know our ancestors they used pits to comp uh, to compost uh, uh, this cow dung this cow dung will be composed only under anaerobic compression so we will have to make pit so this cow dung has to be put under the pit after that you know it will take 8 months uh, for this uh, cow dung to get compost so farmer should ensure that uh, before going for uh, uh, farming they should ensure that what material they are using is 100% compost if it is not 100% compost what will happen is uh, see first plant will be under starvation plant cannot uh, eat undigested or uh, uncompost material second thing we are using uncompost material we are inviting nematodes so you know we have all soil bug diseases problem in the way and plant will be under starvation when plant is under starvation automatically you will not get any result so that is why uh, before going for uh, organic farming farmer should uh, have a pakka scientific uh, idea about farming so if you are going uh, with a scientific organic farming you can have 100% uh, guaranteed yield in your first crop itself see what is happening is uh, farmers are using uh, raw what is it raw uh, this cow dung or dried cow dung so it will take 8 months to get uh, digested so what happens their first crop is 3 months so what happens in their first crop the uh, the fertilizer which they have applied the farmland barrier that is not uh, available to the plants so when the plant does not have nutrition the yield will be obviously uh, obviously reduced so what happens uh, these compost this farmland barrier it will take 8 months to get compost so what happens that is why in their second crop they are able second or third crop only they are able to get this uh, the benefit of the compost which they are applied that is the main reason so what will be your next target to reach maximum number of the farmers uh, farmers in terms of uh, promote organic products so generally you know uh, see uh, that is why we have come to this exhibition so we want that uh, as, as we are a startup company uh, we are not familiar to the farmers uh, but you know uh, in andhra and telangana more than 70000 acres of uh, uh, land is been used by our products mainly for cotton farmers and chili farmers and they are getting jackpot deals so we wanted to uh, bring this technology we wanted to uh, not only promote the product we wanted to give scientific awareness of organic farming to the farmers only when whatever product is there it, it can be have a successful uh, thing to the farmers so we wanted to give a service like 100% uh, service oriented uh, products we wanted to give to the farmers thank you uh, so much dr kadri uh, for being uh, in, uh, with us so uh, i request you to send a sms to our audience on behalf of your company uh, yes sir Uh, message uh, yeah any message from your side like what what farmer should do for the organic farming see actually uh, from our based on our practical experience organic farming is 100% profitable than inorganic farming and uh, though farmers uh, what lovely head is also increasing it is each farmer's responsibility to give a healthier food to our society see farmers are the base for giving uh, food to the society so uh, and it is our farmers responsible to give a healthier food to our society now completely we are eating toxic foods and uh, once our farmers are getting converted to organic farming uh, though uh, their livelihood also will be increasing and we we'll, we'll, they can also provide a healthy food to the society thank you so much what we want from the farmers thank you so much sir thank you, thank you.